I'm Mike Lansman and welcome to another video tutorial. This InDesign video tutorial deals with the subject of flowing large bodies of text in your InDesign document. To demonstrate this, let's create a new document. We'll simply go to the File menu and create a new document. From the New Document options, we will be sure to select only one page for the purpose of this tutorial. We will select A4. We will make sure that we have three columns to be generated and we will select a 3mm bleed should we wish to go to print with this document. We now need to place the text. We will go from the File menu and Place. We navigate to our text threading document. Always a good idea to have the Show Import Options ticked. This option is exceptionally handy. At the moment you can see that by default I have selected Remove Styles and Formatting from Text and Tables. Should this option be selected where the styles and formatting are preserved, you will bring in the formatting and all the colors, the RGB colors from a Word document, which is not what you're wanting in your InDesign document. So be sure to remove styles and formatting from text and tables and click OK. You will now notice that the text is suspended on the edge of the cursor and simply clicking in the first column will place the first column of text. But we can see from the bottom that there is overset text. The overset text is characterized by the red cross icon. This subject has been dealt with in a previous video tutorial on michaelansman.com. So be sure to check that out should you want to refresh your memory on the subject of overset text. We can now pick up the overset text. It is now again suspended on the end of the cursor and we can click in the second column to place the second column. There is still overset text. We can click on the overset text icon and we can place the third column of text. That would have been fine if we would have only had a one page document. However, you will still notice that there is yet again overset text. This presents us with a problem as how many more pages do we need to add in our Pages panel? We're not sure of that. But let's go back a few steps, Command-Z, Command-Z, and Command-Z, and let's check out another way of placing your text. What we can do is, while we're positioning it to place it, simply hold the Option key or the Alt key and click. You will notice the overset text has been picked up on the cursor. It is no more at the end of the first column. And if we hold the Option key or the Alt key and click again, the text is placed. The overset text is picked up on the cursor. So this doesn't really help our problem because there is still overset text suspended on the end of our cursor. So how do we correct this? Very simply, what we need to do is while placing the text into the column, we hold the shift key. You will notice when you hold the shift key that the cursor changes to that flowing icon. So while holding shift and clicking on the mouse, all the text has been placed and the appropriate number of pages has been added automatically to your document. So that is really a wonderful time-saving feature. Be sure to check out MikeLansman.com for three new ebooks that I have written relating to the latest features of Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign Creative Cloud 2014. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.